Everyone knows of Costco, but did you know that it was once called The Price Club? Welcome to Eric C Productions. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified of my latest video that are posted during the week. Please leave a suggestion or a comment and maybe you might see that video in a future posting. Thanks for watching and now back to the program. The year was 1976 and a new retail membership club warehouse was opening up in San Diego. Saul Price devised the Price Club concept in 1975 after being forced out of FedMart, another retail chain he founded. Price and a few of his friends put up $2.5 million in capital to open the first Price Club on July 12, 1976 at 4605 Marina Boulevard in San Diego, the former site of a manufacturing building Howard Hughes once owned. Club membership was initially only available to business customers, but was later open to certain groups such as employees of local businesses, nonprofits, and government. The company charged shoppers a $25 annual membership fee to purchase bulk products at discount prices in a no frills warehouse setting. Do you remember those iconic membership cards? The ones that were laminated with your picture on it? Price Club's high sales volume enabled Price to get his, give his employees more benefits and higher wages than typical retailers. The company expanded throughout the United States, Canada, and Mexico. 1992, Price Club earned $134.1 million on $6.6 .6 billion in revenue from 94 locations. So how was Price Club successful? Price Club managed these prices by cutting overhead to the bone. The stores, which range in size from 100 to 120,000 square feet, are built on real estate in cheaper areas and sparsely decorated with wood pallets. Uh, stark fluorescent lighting and unadored concrete floors. There are no sales at warehouse clubs and little advertising. Charge cards are not allowed and the only shopping bags were actually those boxes that were extra left over. Service was minimal, with most employees restocking the metal shelves rather than helping customers. Uh, in the age of increased customer service, people who shop at Price Club seem to be willing to forego those piano players and tuxedos for bargain paper towels. Stock selection was also limited. The clubs um, bought from manufacturers in huge volume, mostly when items became available rather than when customers request certain products. A discount store or supermarket may stock 50,000 different items, but a warehouse club offers about 4,000. Customers flock to the Price Club at a rate of about 4,000 a day, each spending an average of $200 a visit. Individual clubs can pull in as much as $120 million a year, and people stay with remarkable loyalty and keep shopping year after year. In the 1980s, small business owners made up a large segment, about 65% of members. They were the original group the clubs targeted, since they were often frozen out on good deals from conventional wholesalers. In 1993, Price Club merged with rival Costco and combined company was known as Price Costco. For a brief period, Price Club and Costco continue to operate as two separate stores with members of either chain being able to shop at both stores with their membership card. In 1997, Price Costco became Costco Warehouse Corporation and the remaining Price Clubs were rebranded as Costco.
Hey, if you just watched my video, thanks for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe to Eric C. Productions.